This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to code. We want to start by introducing to HTML or CSS. We'll proceed by going titles into PHP, JavaScript, and then Python. But in this lesson, my focus is to teach you two ways to display JavaScript in the web browser. Without much ado, let's jump straight into action. So I'm going to create a script. A script tab so within this tab opening a closing tab anything within this range will be regarded as javascript file so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a variable and call that variable name and this variable is going to store my personal name and i want to call it tmt and then remember in javascript every statement need to end with a semicolon so i've created this and the first thing to do the first way I want to display this in the browser is to use the alert. So let's say let's use the alert keyword. And what we want to do is that any time the browser is loaded, it points my name Timothy. Okay, so I'm going to call the variable which is name. And then I'm going to end it. Let me save this and then go straight and then reload this in our browser. Let's see what is gonna happen. You can see the alert showing that the name Timothy has been prompted in the browser using the alert. We are going to do this once again, but this time around, we are not going to use the alert keyword. We are going to use a document document dot write. And this time around, let's call the variable name. This this time around, we are not going to get an alert. It's going to point it directly into the browser. And I think that's very amazing. It's good to know all this way. You know how to go about it. So this time around my name has been printed in the browser directly without using that alert. There are several ways to do this in which we will be teaching you on this channel. Remember you need to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. You will never regret subscribing to this button.